to go out in the car and go around in my small little town and go thrifting. And there's a piece of hair. Fabulous. So I know I'm not the only one that has to drive a small car. Well, it's kind of small. Yeah, it's small. Um, when going thrifting, I'm going to show you how I thrift with a small car. <laughs> and maybe we're going to pass up some pretty cool items. Maybe you won't see anything at all. Um, but I'm going to just be kind of hanging out with you today, talking um, about thrifting, talking about the channel, talking about life. So um, let's get on the road. So one of the first things that I like to do is grab my purse. Grab the purse, Heather. I at least have to go back in the house for one thing. My poor dogs. I always make sure that I have this. When you're shopping with, um, you know, furniture in a small car, you definitely want to know your dims because there's nothing worse than falling in love with a piece, buying it, and then finding out that it doesn't fit in your car by just looking at it. You're like, yeah, that'll fit in my car doesn't always fit in your car. Learn from my mistakes. And we are off. It says 88 degrees. I am not ashamed of my dusty um, dashboard because it's pollen season over in Georgia. And that means all the cars are yellow. Something I didn't know. Sounds like I'm in a wind tunnel. Obviously our car is not set up for vlogging. I think I wanted to do this just so I could say the word vlogging. Look at the little crane. I apologize for any bad angles, any double chins, anything that you might see up my nose. This is raw footage. I'm not the only one that eats car cookies, am I? in this a little town of ours, Salvation Army, Goodwill, Treasures of Camden, Paragon. So we are heading to Goodwill. Throughout the time with this channel, there was a real low point about six months ago where I felt like, um, I, you know, I was struggling with the channel. I had about like probably like around 100 subscribers. I, I was just feeling lost and like if I really wanted to do this anymore. Coming up on 500 subscribers. Some people might look at that and think small potatoes, but I look at that and I think success. I just really wanted to contribute something to you guys that would help. I've talked with a, like numerous amounts of furniture artists. Like I, I really had this like vision for this channel and it's just taking so long to accomplish and grow, but you know, I believe in it. And so um, I'm hoping that I can kind of just share a little bit of a different side um, today and we can just have some fun shopping. So let's go.
So basically with small items like these, we definitely do not have to worry about items anything fitting inside the car. So I've got um, a little bin that we can definitely sand down, repaint, super good bones. A little bread basket that is going to be such an easy flip. A little basket. And then we have this adorable thing. I had a $10 off um, coupon, I guess, that was just stacked up. So today's purchase at Goodwill was um, just under four dollars so that's pretty good I'm really excited just to kind of knock out a lot of small um, projects and and get them onto Etsy so let me know in the comments down below if you want to um, see how to update little knickknacks that we get at Goodwill kind of like these uh, with some chalk paint and decals and things of that nature or if you want to stick with the big ones I'm gonna go check out my friend over at Paragon um, he's where I get most of my furniture from so he does a lot of storage house auctions he either has like really good furniture or sometimes like this kind of furniture that needs a lot of work. The, the beautiful thing with him is that like oh, he always has different kinds of furniture because of the storage auctions. And number two is that he delivers. I did a huge order with him months ago and I'm still working on furniture from him. So it's been a few months and I'm looking forward to stopping in and seeing what he's got and saying hi. So let's go. Hashtag real life, hashtag facts. I just missed my turn and uh, my car just beeped at me. So that means I got a ding on my insurance and I didn't feel like slamming on the brakes again. We are going to, drum roll please, Salvation Army. Yes, we are. And the reason why we have not gotten a truck yet is a couple of things, but mainly because we have the option to calm down a little bit and really take our time picking out the right truck. Um, but also, uh, because of my lifelong dream of owning this truck. Okay, so hear me out. These little trucks, like, although not very practical, you can put a hitch on there. Oh, there is none for sale, okay? Check this out. Okay, we researched it, they were, they're vintage, and then there's a few models um, that are circulating right now. So the only two models that the last time were for sale was um, one in New York in 2016, and it was a 2006. And then there's one here, right here, but it's been sitting on the same lot since 2016, and it looks atrocious because it's been baking in the sun, and who knows how long it's just been sitting and not turned on. Now, there's a group of, I think that they were college kids, if not, they were just, you know, um, a col they, they did a collaboration on a Mini Cooper, flipped it into a truck, pitched it to Mini Cooper, Mini Cooper did not want to put it into production. However, it has blown up, there's so many people want to own this truck, including me. So the only way, I've, I've searched high and low for this truck, right, high and low. My husband is laughing at me all the time when I bring it up. Lifelong dream. Lifelong dream. Um, the only way to do this is if you purchase a Mini Cooper, you know, you can select your style and then get a truck conversion kit. So this is why, my dear friends, I still am trying to haul furniture in a car. Yes, that is my story. I just been informed at our local um, Salvation Army that there's a tornado watch. There was a storm expected to be here 
uh, tomorrow, and, and now it's going to be here in just like an hour. It's, it's just chaos. Like I talked to my husband about it, and he says, to, don't worry about it. Just go and go to your next door. Um, I hate driving in weather like this, especially down in the south. I feel like in Washington, it was a lot easier, um, maybe just because I was raised with it, but I found some really good stuff. Um, I couldn't record all of it uh, just because of how cramped it is in that store. So when I get home, uh, we'll go through all of it together. I will drive up to Anthony's over at Paragon. All right, let's go. Driving should not be this stressful. Oh, see, raindrop. There is a raindrop. Any minute now, this could just be flooding, pouring down rain. One hour later, find me at a fetal position in the parking lot because I can't drive in this rain. We struck gold. So, you know, sometimes you just gotta find that diamond in the rough. Oh, I wish I could have a film or furniture there, um, but we were just talking and catching up. Woo! Back home, the sky is gray. It is dark. There's a storm a brewing. Okay, well, we made it. Okay, so, I'll get everything lined up and we'll do a recap tomorrow after Anthony drops off the chest. See, this is great. This is, you know, I wasn't able to fit it in the car, but he's going to deliver it. How cool is that? Successful day. And now uh, there is a tornado warning. So, yeah, so it went from a watch to a warning. Yes. The sky is pretty dark and it's getting quiet out. So it's really scary. Still glad like I was able to get some shopping in. So update tomorrow. <laughs> okay, so we are back in the garage. Anthony dropped off the chest and I got a surprise for you. I have been looking for this dresser for a very long time. I like this is this particular style with these handles. Then he had it over at his shop. It was about a hundred dollars. Just couldn't get it out of my mind. We went back and we got it. <laughs> it doesn't need a lot of work. So basically all I need to do is just clean the hardware, maybe patch like a few little nicks around the feet and then that's it. So it's going to be a really quick flip. It's worth the investment because the turnaround is going to be so big on it. Um, so here it is. Look at this. Isn't this lovely? because I'm so stoked about this I will probably be doing this makeover in a couple of weeks so this next one that I'm working on the one behind me um, I'm going to be starting the video on that today um, which will be coming out this Sunday then the following week it will be this dresser so let's take a recap and look at all the goodies okay so this surprise piece this piece he sold it to me for about 20 bucks it's a project piece it needs a lot of work I feel like it's better here than on the side of the road, right? And I'm always up for a challenge, um, so I feel like this is going to be really pretty. So this cute little table, I don't think I'm really going to make a video out of it, but I'm definitely going to be painting this soon. Antique coffee grinder, salt and pepper shakers, baskets. Okay guys, I was in the middle of editing and I realized I might have left you hanging on the tornado update. Um, passed by us, obviously we're doing fine. Um, all is well in Heather's world. Let's get back to the goods. Another little napkin holder, the bread box, 
Oh, this cute little bird. Look at this. If I can do it with one hand. Okay, hold on. Okay, ready? Bam, one hand. How fun is that gonna be? Look at this pretty little picnic basket. It's in great condition. The handle isn't frayed at all. Another basket. And here's our lovely jewelry box. I'm gonna have to fix the little stain down here. But I just fell in love with these handles. My husband's been wanting me to do another clock, so I'm glad that I found this. I'm really excited about this because I'm totally gonna transform it. I have a vision for it, so stay tuned for that. Also, what isn't here, when we went to go pick up the dresser, I got a filing cabinet and um, that globe. I've seen some really cool flips with some filing cabinets, and when I saw that and it was in pristine condition for $10, I was like, with key, that works, snatch. Your mind is in his office being used until I can get to it and flip it. So that is how I justified it. Thank you so much for taking along and coming and finding these awesome finds with me. It was nice doing a behind the scenes thing with you and having some real one-on-one -on -one time. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you Sunday for that furniture makeover. Bye guys. Let's go get Carrot. You want Carrot? Oh, there he goes. There he goes. Ow. Okay, okay, easy, tiger. We like our veggies in this house. <laughs> Let's go.